Hi, my name is Brad. I'm from wattsview.com and right now we're just going to quickly cover how to download and install the wattsview configuration utility. So first you enter in the website wattsview and next you can click on downloads. From there we want to go down to the wattsview configuration download and it is a zip file so if you're using Chrome you will get a warning uh, that this might be a dangerous or malicious uh, file uh, click on this little pull down here and just say keep and that will allow you to keep the file then click on the um, this tab again and choose show in folder and then right click Choose Extract All. All right, the folder's been unzipped. Go into here, double click, click on Setup, and uh, we can run it. And that will bring up the Watts View installation window. Click on the Next button and just you leave everything default and it's going to go ahead and run um, a couple of things here this may take a uh, 20 to 40 seconds to go through and see what's already installed on your system so it's going to be installing the LabVIEW runtime engine here Alright, and so at this point the utility has been installed. And um, alright, so the program is installed. We're going to click on here and then go to uh, Watts View Configuration Utility and launch this right here. Alright, the Watts View program has launched, and uh, first thing it does is it goes out and checks all the serial ports to find out where it's got good ports and it's going to find in this case it found one at uh, 26 so if your sensor is hooked up and it's plugged in with 12 volts of power it should start communicating automatically with with the program so just some quick introduction uh, to the program these are all the commands that can uh, be executed and uh, for instance right now it says get firmware version so we're gonna go ahead and hit execute and when we hit execute we're gonna should see a response come back from the sensor so um, there it is right there it's version 2.198 so that's how that command works